Hello everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to your next Cake PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look through what Cake PHP um, built for us and um, see if there are any other suggestions Cake PHP have for us before we can completely set up our site. So we opened this site on um, a browser and we had this page. And first of all, Cake PHP checked our PHP version, the current PHP version on our system, and it's it's 5.4.16 and this code. Uh, Cake PHP also checked whether the MB string loaded. Very cool. We checked the version and a whole lot of other things about PHP code. And the next thing is our TMP directory. You know these things are. Uh, if you had problem with this, the usual way to fix it is just to download a fresh WAM server. Otherwise, if something is not loaded, open SSL extension or MB string extension or international extension, you would just go to your WAM server and click on uh, WAM server, click on PHP and extensions. You you look for it here. For instance, if we are going to search for for MB string, MB string extensions, I'll quickly search for PHP underscore MB string here and click on it once, then we start my WAM server. But mine is loaded and it's working. Look at international extension and uh, a whole lot of other things. So if Cake PHP warned you about any of the extensions here not being loaded, you will quickly come here and enable them. All right, the next thing we want to check out is Cake PHP check out. Uh, TMP directory and here is our TMP directory. TMP directory. Uh, look at this here. It must always be writable. If it's not writable, uh, Cake PHP will complain. All right. The next one is our logs directory is writable. Right inside that, uh, we have our logs here where it saves all the errors on our site. It's writable and. Uh, PHP is comfortable with it. File engine is being used for call caching, and that's cool too. All right, um, you don't have to uh, worry about this. But you could change if you wanted to use um, APC or memcached uh, for your call uh, caching. You go to config in app.php, config in app.php, and change it. All right, but the default is okay, which is file engine and it's working properly. The next thing we want to check out on our page is um, is warning us that Cake PHP is not able to connect to database, and uh, external connection to database could not be established. And um, this is the error. Now here's the problem. Not really a problem though. Cake PHP. This this is a a warning, not really an error. You could design a site that doesn't need a database. All right, it's possible to build a complete site that doesn't make use of any sort of database, and that's okay. But if your site is going to make use of a database, Cake PHP is just telling you that, yeah, hey there, I can see your database. I can connect to your database. Something is wrong in the connection setting. All right, and what's that database? We have a database here in PHP My Admin. And um, to pretty much fix this error, well, I should just chip this in. If your site is not going to use a database, uh, you wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest you use Cake PHP to build it. If your site is just going to have a couple of pages and uh, with a contact us page that sent to your email and whatnot, and it doesn't have to make use of a database, Cake PHP is sort of an overkill. All right, uh, it's just like using an axe to kill an ant. You know, it, it's too big for a site that doesn't use database. All right. So, in the next tutorial, we'll quickly look at um, databases and how to connect our, our sites to data, a database. If you have problem with Cake PHP, you could quickly take the uh, 15 minute bookmarker tutorial and. Uh, or 15 minute blog tutorial. This kind of um, gives you a quick overview of um, what Cake PHP is all about. And these other ones about the documentation and stuff and all the other links you could ever need in this lifetime. Alright, 
see you in the next tutorial where we connect a site to a database. Thank you very much.